Fatty liver, you know, as the name suggests, is accumulation of excess fat in your liver. We also call it uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Steato meaning fat and hepatitis meaning inflammation of liver. And all this excess fat accumulates over a period of time, which if not addressed, damages the liver cells, leading to its a hardening or stiffening, what we call fibrosis or scarring. And further prolonged fibrosis leads to cirrhosis and you know then eventually permanent liver damage. The problem is that all this happens silently, especially in the initial stages where the symptoms are not pronounced. Fatty liver is graded into three stages, most of you are aware, you know, with fat percentage as shown for grade 1, 2 and 3. Now before understanding how to deal with fatty liver, we all must realize that liver is the largest gland in our body, performing more than 500 different tasks. It filters blood, in fact about 12 to 15 percent of the total volume of blood in our body is inside the liver at any given point of time. Liver makes bile which helps in fat digestion. It plays a crucial role in metabolism of proteins. Liver stores glycogen and helps to you know, maintain blood glucose levels. It plays a crucial role in enzyme activation, in excretion of bilirubin and cholesterol and even in absorption of key vitamins like vitamin A and vitamin D. And if there is excess fat in your liver, all these important functions start getting affected. So how do you come to know if you have you know, if you have a fatty liver or not. Well, the symptoms are as listed on the screen, but periodic tests like you know, the liver function test is a must. The markers to note are the liver enzymes in blood and total bilirubin and you know, these basic markers should always be in range. And in case of doubt, you must must consult your doctor. Next is ultrasound or ultrasonography, which can very clearly indicate the fat, the inflammation and scar tissues in your liver. And in case there are reasons and signs of more damage, uh, then you would be well advised to get a fibro scan of your liver done. Okay, now let's come to the mood point. What can we do to reverse fatty liver naturally? And I shall give you 10 action points, right? First, fast, stop feeding your body the whole day. Fasting can induce changes in insulin signaling pathways, improving your insulin sensitivity. It helps increased glucose uptake in peripheral tissues, thereby helping to reduce the fat accumulated in liver. Most of you know that fasting leads to autophagy, which is a cellular recycling process, which helps to reduce inflammation in liver also. In fact, it even promotes liver regeneration. So fast daily, you know, build up, build up to fasting. Do not rush and graduate to two wholesome meals a day. Second action point is genie cum. Stop. Or reduce consumption of sugar and I mean sugar in all its form including fructose any excess glucose in the blood is turned into fat cells period and gradually your liver cells get replaced by these fat cells and this one myth that fruits are super healthy and super nutritious etc is all correct but what about its sweetness honestly you know we seem to have become addicted to sweetness of fructose in the fruits so just stop fruits if you have a fatty liver. Reduce carbs, reduce, you know, get to zero refined carbs and you will see the changes in just about four to six weeks. Okay. The third action point is stop refined flour and refined oils. Now these are major trigger for liver inflammation and fat in liver. No mega. In fact, no flour at all. And I mean all its products too, you know, noodles, cookies, biscuits, dumpkins, just stop. Look for whole grain flours like millets or even gram flour, basin. As far as refined oils, you know, they are also super dangerous. These are refined in factories by adding chemicals and then processed through extreme heat. So the oil loses all its nutrients. It's better to opt for cold pressed oils where the extraction of oil from the seeds is naturally done. It's not subjected to extreme temperature. So all the nutrients are intact like kachi ghani mustard oil or cold pressed olive oil or cold pressed coconut oil, rice bran oil. And while we are in the topic of fats, do not be afraid of healthy fats just because you have a fatty liver. Ghee, moderate amount of cheese, omega-3 fats from chia, walnuts, other nuts and seeds. In fact, all unsaturated fats are absolutely fine for your liver. And in fact, this will aid in reversing your fatty liver. Fourth action point is 
consume coffee and i mean coffee you know not coffee with milk and sugar not sweet cold coffee or flavored coffees just black coffee hot or cold plain black coffee reduces fibrosis or scarring of the liver it prevents accumulation of fat so both caffeinated or decaf coffees are fine and taking 2 3 cups of black coffee a day will help you and just be aware to finish your last cup of coffee before sunset so that you know caffeine doesn't interfere with your sleep fifth point you know after coffee is green tea this is another great liver detox drink and it helps to reduce the liver you know the the, the liver enzymes in blood it is especially good for those who have hypothyroidism and they can't take coffee you know, because of the coatrogen content in the coffee sixth action point is vitamin d Vitamin D deficiency is an independent risk factor for fatty liver disease. It increases the risk of liver cirrhosis. I have specific videos on vitamin D, but best will be to do a 8 to 10 weeks course of 60,000 IU of vitamin D3 once a week. Mind you, one needs to monitor the vitamin D levels, so test and accordingly address your vitamin D deficiency. Seventh point is milk thistle. Now there are mixed reports on milk thistle. and 6 on 10 trials you know show a positive effect of milk thistle on humans milk thistle helps to shield your liver from toxins and helps to reduce the inflammation when i was you know reversing my fatty liver in 2018 i had this supplement for 6 months and since 2020 i have been recommending this uh, particular supplement uh, to the members of my health group with very positive results okay eighth action point stop smoking and you know consuming alcohol both are doing no good to your health nicotine triggers a build up of fat in the liver drinking large amount of alcohol over a consistent period also leads to fatty liver so just avoid them why have them all right ninth is tutka now tutka is a bile acid you know as mentioned on the screen and studies have shown that tutka can reduce liver fat it helps with filtering toxins out and regulates you know important liver enzymes This too you can take, you know, like a supplement of 500 mg daily for about 8 to 10 weeks. Uh, and lastly, the tenth action point is exercise smartly. Resistance or strength training helps to reduce liver fat. Aim for 30 to 60 minutes mid to high level aerobic exercise, minimum four five days a week. And more importantly, you must include strength and resistance training for 20 to 30 minutes daily. No excuse. If you can't go to gym, do push-ups at home for upper body and squats for lower body. You need not compare yourself with anyone. If you can't do push-ups, do half push-ups, incline push-ups, knee push-ups. Do whatever you can. You can't do full squats, do half squats, do chair squats. But please start. Climb the stairs. You know, uh, hold the railing and climb the stairs. Use your own body weight against gravity to create resistance. I wish you all the very best. uh if you follow these action points you will see visible positive results within 8 to 10 weeks cheers namaskar